Been tracking Hurricane Lee now for over a week as it has stayed on track, now approaching uh, New England into the Atlantic parts of Canada. Now, uh, this storm is approaching those regions. You can see satellite picking up on the cloud cover, making its way into uh, the New York City area and then also uh, most of New England. But the rain, look at this. So this is difficult because radars don't pick up over the water. Uh, so as it gets closer, it finally starts to see some of that green getting picked up. But rain already getting picked up in Nova Scotia and the track of the storm is heading north. You can see it's 16 miles per hour, still a hurricane. It's going to weaken a bit as it heads north, but most of that rainfall is going to stay to the east of areas like Massachusetts, which has had some extreme flooding this last week. So that's good news. The problem is they're still going to see some uh, storm surge as the center of that system heads northward. It's going to shove that water into areas like Cape Cod and then also the back end of it up uh, the Bay of Fundy. Now this is going to provide, unfortunately, possibly up to 10 feet of storm surge in those areas between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. So those are the areas that are on guard for storm surge and then the winds as well. Now uh, they are going to be seeing some very strong winds so we are going to unfortunately expect lots of power outages in this area. Uh, so if you have loved ones out there, if you're traveling there this weekend, uh, just stay on alert for that storm system. Uh, it should move out by Sunday though and then they'll see some quieter weather. The rest of the country pretty quiet. There's a front going through the central part of the U.S., but they're finally seeing some cooler weather. As for the West Coast, we've been tracking very quiet September, which is good news. A lot of times this is our high fire season. We've been talking about it all week, how it's looking cooler and wetter than normal. So looking at the outlook for the rest of the month, still showing that Northern California could actually get some rain. I don't think we're going to see rain this month, but uh, it's something we'll keep an eye on in the next week or two, but cooler than average. Now we have been cooler than average near the coast for the last few days, but we've been sitting right around seasonable averages for areas like San Jose to Gilroy in those low 80s, and it has been really, really pleasant. That's going to continue for this weekend into early next week. Temperatures at the coast are going to continue to mostly be in the 60s, maybe some low 70s if you get some sunshine in some of those coastal towns that aren't quite on the water, uh, but going to be seeing those comfortable temperatures inland, 70s to 80s, pretty much all week long.